Stoic philosophy imparts timeless wisdom through seven guiding principles. Acceptance of the uncontrollable, advocates embracing the inevitable, focusing on response. Mindful perception urges seeing events objectively to foster a calm mindset. Differentiate between concern and influence, directs energy where impact is possible, shedding undue worries. Amor Fati champions the love of fate, finding growth in every outcome. Momentary retreat advises stepping back mentally to assess situations without being overwhelmed. Virtue as the highest good prioritizes moral character, cultivating tranquility in personal integrity. Practice gratitude encourages appreciating the present, diminishing the grip of desire. Buckle up for an epic journey into the heart of Stoic wisdom. This isn't just a video, it's a motivational odyssey and I challenge you to stay tuned until the final moment. Each step in this Stoic adventure is a key to unlocking a more resilient and inspired version of yourself. Ready to dive in? Let's embark on this transformative ride together. Number 1. Acceptance of the Uncontrollable Embrace what you cannot change, focusing on your response instead. Acceptance of the uncontrollable is the cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, a timeless lesson in navigating the turbulent seas of life with grace and resilience. In a world teeming with uncertainties, Stoicism advocates for a profound shift in perspective, one that liberates the individual from the shackles of anxiety forged by the whims of fate. This principle urges us to confront the stark reality that some facets of our existence lie beyond the realm of our influence. It's an acknowledgement that the universe unfolds in its intricate dance, indifferent to our desires and preferences. Rather than Fudilele resisting this cosmic flow, Stoicism proposes a radical pivot, embracing the unalterable. This is not passive surrender, it's an empowered choice to allocate our mental and emotional resources wisely. When confronted with the unchangeable, our focus shifts from battling external forces to cultivating an internal fortress of resilience. By directing our attention to our response, we unearth a profound agency, the ability to shape our own narrative in the face of adversity. Picture a ship navigating turbulent waters. The winds of fate may buffet it, the waves may toss it, but the skilled sailor learns to adjust the sails. Likewise, the stoic individual adjusts their internal sails, calibrating their mindset, fortifying their emotional resilience, and refining their response strategy. It's an art of finding tranquility in the midst of chaos, a mastery that transforms challenges into opportunities for growth. In the acceptance of the uncontrollable, there's an unspoken liberation. The burden of futile resistance is replaced by the lightness of adaptability. It's an invitation to dance with life's uncertainties, knowing that within this dance lies the power to shape our destiny. Not by controlling the external, but by mastering the internal. In this dance, the rhythm of acceptance becomes the melody of enduring strength. Number 2. Mindful Perception See events objectively, avoiding emotional reactions to foster a calm mindset. Mindful perception, a pivotal tenet of Stoicism, unfolds as a profound art of viewing the world through the lens of objectivity, shielding oneself from the storms of emotional turmoil. In a reality where events unfurl with capricious spontaneity, Stoicism beckons us to adopt the role of the impartial observer, untethered from the tumultuous sway of our emotions. This principle encapsulates a deliberate and conscious act of perceiving events without the distortion of subjective feelings. It's akin to stepping back from the canvas of life to behold the painting in its entirety, appreciating each stroke without being ensnared by the intensity of individual colors. In the heat of life's moments, the Stoic cultivates a mental sanctuary, a haven where reason reigns supreme. Instead of succumbing to knee-jerk emotional reactions, one learns to pause, creating a space between stimulus and response. 
Within this pause lies the crucible of mindful perception, where the raw data of experience is met with the cool gaze of rationality. Imagine a chess player contemplating their moves with detached precision, unaffected by the emotional whirlwinds that accompany each strategic decision. Similarly, the Stoic cultivates a mental chessboard, navigating life's complexities with a serene strategy unfettered by impulsive reactions. This practice doesn't negate the richness of emotions, but tempers them with the wisdom of discernment. It's an acknowledgement that emotions, though powerful, can cloud judgment. By seeing events objectively, the Stoic gains clarity, the ability to discern the essential from the ephemeral. In the tapestry of mindful perception, emotions are not suppressed but understood. They are acknowledged as passing clouds rather than permanent fixtures. This panoramic view of life fosters a calm mindset, a reservoir of tranquility, undisturbed by the fleeting storms of emotional turbulence. Through the lens of mindful perception, the Stoic stands poised, a beacon of equanimity in the face of life's kaleidoscopic uncertainties. Number three, differentiate between concern and influence. Channel energy into areas you can impact, letting go of undue worries. The Stoic wisdom embedded in differentiate between concern and influence is a beacon guiding individuals through the labyrinth of daily concerns. It's an art of discernment that involves recognizing the boundaries of one's sphere of influence and consciously directing energy where it can yield tangible impact. Imagine a circle representing the totality of concerns. Inside it, a smaller circle symbolizing the realm of influence. The Stoic, with a keen eye, understands that dwelling on matters beyond this circle is an exercise in futility. Instead, attention and effort are purposefully directed towards the actionable core, where personal agency can invoke change. This principle is an antidote to the corrosive effects of undue worry. In a world teeming with variables, it's easy to be engulfed by a sea of concerns, each vying for attention and emotional investment. Stoicism advocates for a deliberate narrowing of focus, a strategic allocation of mental and emotional resources to areas where one holds the power to effect change. Picture a gardener tending to their plot, diligently nurturing the soil and cultivating the plants within reach. The Stoic gardener recognizes the limits of their plot but channels expertise, care and attention into fostering growth within those boundaries. Similarly, in the vast garden of life, the Stoic directs energy towards the areas where seeds of influence can sprout into meaningful outcomes. This practice isn't a callous dismissal of external issues, but a pragmatic acknowledgement of one's finite resources. It's an invitation to invest energy where it can yield a return, fostering a sense of efficacy and purpose. By differentiating between concern and influence, the Stoic crafts a roadmap for navigating the labyrinth, one where the journey is marked by intentional strides, unburdened by the weight of unmanageable worries. Number 4. Amor Fati, Love of Fate Embrace all outcomes, finding growth and purpose in every situation. Amor Fati, the profound Stoic concept of embracing one's fate with love, is a transformative mindset that transcends the ebb and flow of life's fortunes. At its core, it beckons individuals to not merely accept, but ardently love every twist and turn of their existence, viewing each moment as an indispensable thread in the tapestry of personal growth. This philosophy stands as a beacon of resilience, urging individuals to find purpose and meaning even in the crucible of adversity. It's a radical shift from mere acceptance to an active and wholehearted embrace of the entirety of one's life journey. Every triumph and tribulation becomes a brushstroke, contributing to the masterpiece of self-discovery. Imagine a sailor navigating through unpredictable seas. Amor Fati is akin to not only navigating storms with unwavering resolve, but reveling in the dance of the tempest. Stoics, 
like skilled sailors, recognize that every gust of wind and every crashing wave is an opportunity for mastery and growth. In the grand theater of existence, Amor Fati transforms life's narrative into a saga of purpose. Even in the face of setbacks and challenges, the Stoic finds fertile ground for cultivating virtues like resilience, courage, and wisdom. The defeats become stepping stones, and the victories, moments of gratitude. This philosophy doesn't negate the pain of hardship but transforms it into a crucible for forging inner strength. It's an invitation to dance with destiny, recognizing that the rhythm of life's symphony is woven from both moments of elation and heartache. Through Amor Fati, Stoicism unveils a profound truth that in embracing the totality of one's fate, one discovers not only growth, but an enduring wellspring of purpose and fulfillment. Number 5. Momentary Retreat Take a step back mentally to assess situations without being overwhelmed. Momentary retreat in Stoicism is akin to a strategic pause in the symphony of life, a conscious step back from the cacophony of emotions and external pressures. It's a practice that grants the individual a sanctuary of clarity, allowing for a detached and composed assessment of situations without succumbing to the overwhelming tide of immediate reactions. Imagine a battlefield commander surveying the chaos from a vantage point. A momentary retreat is that tactical pause, a space where the fog of war clears, revealing a path forward. Similarly, in the battlefield of daily challenges, the Stoic embraces this mental retreat, a brief respite from the fray to gather thoughts and regain perspective. This principle is not an evasion of reality but a strategic maneuver to navigate it effectively. It involves cultivating an internal fortress where one can momentarily seek refuge, sheltered from the deluge of emotions. This retreat isn't about detachment, but a deliberate act to prevent being swept away by the turbulent currents of life. In the clamor of the moment, the Stoic practices a kind of mindfulness, a brief withdrawal to objectively assess the landscape. It's a mastery over the knee-jerk reactions that can often lead to hasty decisions and heightened stress. This pause, thou fleeting, becomes a source of strength, a moment where resilience is cultivated and strategic thinking takes root. In the grand tapestry of Stoic wisdom, momentary retreat is a brush stroke that paints a picture of composed strength. It's an acknowledgement that in the ebb and flow of life, the ability to momentarily step back is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to a profound inner fortitude a sanctuary from which one can re-enter the fray with clarity, purpose, and resilience. Number 6. Virtue as the Highest Good Prioritize moral character over external events, finding tranquility in personal integrity. Virtue as the Highest Good in Stoicism is a guiding principle that elevates the essence of one's character above the tumultuous currents of external circumstances. It's a call to prioritize moral excellence over fleeting events, finding a serene haven in the unwavering stronghold of personal integrity. Imagine a lighthouse standing tall amidst a storm. The Stoic's virtue is that unyielding beacon, unaffected by the chaos of external forces. In a world where fortunes fluctuate, prioritizing virtue is an anchor, providing stability in the face of uncertainty. This principle doesn't dismiss the significance of external events, but reframes their importance. It underscores that, while circumstances may be beyond our control, our response and character are within our grasp. The Stoic cultivates a moral compass that points towards virtues such as courage, wisdom, justice, and temperance. In the pursuit of virtue, the Stoic discovers a tranquil reservoir. It's a sanctuary where personal integrity becomes a source of enduring peace, irrespective of the storms raging outside. In a paradoxical twist, the prioritization of virtue not only fosters inner serenity, but often influences positive external outcomes. 
Picture a wise elder weathering the vicissitudes of life with grace. Their tranquility doesn't arise from a charmed existence, but from the deliberate choice to prioritize virtue. Stoicism teaches that, in the grand tapestry of life, the threads of character are the ones that endure. This philosophy challenges the conventional pursuit of external goods, suggesting that the truest measure of wealth lies in the richness of one's character. Virtue as the highest good isn't just a stoic dictum. It's an invitation to discover a profound source of tranquility in the unwavering commitment to moral excellence. Number 7. Practice Gratitude Appreciate the present and what you have, diminishing the grip of desire for more. Practice Gratitude In Stoicism is a transformative exercise that shifts the focus from incessant desires to a profound appreciation for the present and existing blessings. It's a deliberate act of acknowledging the abundance already within one's grasp, unraveling the grip of insatiable yearning for more. Imagine a contented wanderer marveling at the simple beauty of a sunset. Stoic gratitude is akin to finding joy in the richness of the moment, unencumbered by the relentless pursuit of what lies beyond. In a world fueled by the pursuit of excess, this principle is a counterbalance, a reminder to savor the richness of the present. Stoicism teaches that the ceaseless desire for more can be a source of perpetual discontent. Practice Gratitude Advocates for a conscious pause to reflect on the blessings already attained, the relationships, experiences, and basic comforts often taken for granted. This practice isn't a dismissal of ambition, but a recalibration of perspective. It's an invitation to find contentment in the journey, appreciating the steps taken rather than fixating on the distant horizon. Stoic gratitude transforms each moment into a gift, each possession into a source of joy. In the tapestry of this philosophy, gratitude becomes a liberating force, releasing individuals from the chains of perpetual wanting. It's an acknowledgement that, amidst the pursuit of aspirations, there's immense wealth in the present. The Stoic, through gratitude, discovers a profound richness in the simplicity of existence an antidote to the voracious appetite for more and a gateway to enduring contentment. In the mosaic of Stoic teachings, a symphony of resilience and wisdom unfolds. Through acceptance of the uncontrollable, one forges an internal fortress against life's storms. Mindful perception becomes a compass, guiding through the tumult with clarity. By differentiating concern and influence, Stoicism unveils a path to channel energy purposefully. Embracing fate with Amor Fati transforms life's narrative, infusing purpose into every twist. In moments of retreat, a Stoic finds strength in strategic pauses, avoiding being swept away by the chaos. Virtue as the highest good becomes an unwavering anchor, fostering tranquility in the seas of uncertainty. Lastly, practicing gratitude unlocks a gateway to contentment, unveiling the richness already present. Stoicism, a profound philosophy, beckons individuals to navigate the complexities of existence with resilience, integrity, and an enduring appreciation for the beauty inherent in every moment.